Hello everyone, the day has finally come. Nomad has gotten scripting. Now this means you can use awesome mods like Mystic Hands in Nomad. Beware, it is currently a little bit buggy. Um, not all mods will work, but in this video I'm gonna show you how to turn scripting on for Nomad and how to download scripting mods. Just a quick note, the in-game mod manager does not work for downloading mods, so you are going to need a PC, just anything. It doesn't need to be able to run VR. It can be a Chromebook, just anything that can manage files. All right, first thing, to make sure you get your scripting on Nomad, the first thing you have to do is you can do this on the mobile app or the desktop website. You go to the meta thing, you find the Blade and Sorcery Nomad page, you scroll down to version, you just find wherever that is. Now make sure this is scripting, not live. This has to be scripting 12.3. Then what you're going to want to do is to connect your Quest 2 or Quest 3 or whatever headset to your computer. It could be a laptop, a Chromebook or just any PC. It doesn't need to be able to run VR. It could be terrible. As long as it can download things and get into files, you're good. You're going to want to plug it in to your computer, plug your headset into your computer, go into your headset and click the little notification that will come up. It will say like USB detected, click here to allow file management or something like that. Once you've done that, you're gonna either want to go to nexusmods.com or mod.io and go to the Blade and Sorcery page. Both these links will be in the description. If you are on mod.io, make sure you tick the Android platform and the scripting slash scripts. This will make it so it only shows you scripting mods for Nomad. Then if you go to this one, all of these mods will work. If they have scripting in the title, that means they use scripting. Now to actually install them, it's pretty similar on both the sites. So on Nexus Mods, what you're going to want to do is... Alright, so say I want to download Heartbreaker for U12. You'll go to Files, Manual Download, Download, Slow Download unless you have the premium version. Next you're going to want to right click, press Extract All. Then you're going to want to open another file and go to your Quest 2 internal shared storage android data warp, warp frog and sorcery files mods then drag this into there once that's done your mod will be in your game so just uh open blade and sorcery and you'll be good 